Elvis Presley's mother, Gladys, wanted Elvis to settle down and get married and have her a grandbaby. But sadly, this didn't happen because Gladys had passed away in August of 1958. And a year later, Elvis met Priscilla while he was in the army stationed in Germany. And they dated until Elvis left the army in 1960. But Elvis did stay in contact with Priscilla through phone calls and letters. Well, two years later, Priscilla goes to Graceland and moves in with Vernon and Dee, Elvis's father and stepmother. And she goes and she finishes her schooling while being close to Elvis. But in 1968, Elvis and Priscilla married. And just nine months later, Priscilla had missed a Marie. But in 1972, Elvis and Priscilla separated. And sadly, in 1973, they divorced. But Elvis never got over Priscilla. Elvis never let go of his obsession with Priscilla. Elvis called Priscilla often through the years. Mary Jenkins, Elvis's cook who had worked for Elvis for years, she said Elvis told her he would never marry again unless it was to Priscilla. She said Elvis wanted Priscilla back. And Elvis did want his family back together. One night, while Elvis and Priscilla were in Vegas, Elvis was showing Tom Jones pictures of Lisa Marie when she was a baby. And Elvis had told Tom Jones, he said, Mama would be so proud if she could see me now, a married man with a baby. She'd be a grandmother. The night before Elvis passed, he and Priscilla were on the phone arguing over travel arrangements for Lisa Marie, because Lisa Marie was at Graceland with Elvis. Mary Jenkins, Elvis's cook, was hoping that Priscilla and Elvis would get back together. But sadly, that didn't happen, because Elvis passed away on August the 16th of 1977.